Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the opposite side of the bracket. We got Ash Dreamer versus, I'm going to say Crane. If it is not Crane and it's actually Karan or Karani or something else, let me know. I am actually, I've seen Ash Dreamer around and I know of Clan Ash, but I do not know a lot about either of these players. I only know that they are skilled enough to get to the semifinal of BSL 11. In fact, Crane already has the BSL 12 tag up. And I know I've done this shout out a bunch, but yeah, check out those, check out, oops, take off the replay timer. Check out the matches, Saturdays and Sundays. I think if you subscribe to the Twitter, you can get the alerts or you can be in the Discord server and whatnot. That's casted typically by Gypsy. I think Seriosity was in on the cast recently. Wasn't able to have volume up for reasons last time, so I just had to watch it from a distance. Pylon from both players. I will admit I'm not looking forward to doing all this much more PvP. There's so much Protoss versus Protoss, but that is going to sneak into a call for more players to get involved in BSL. And if you're if you're Protoss, so be it. But I would like to see more variety amongst the, the foreigners than just Protoss at the top of Fossil League and things like that. But we'll see as things continue. Gateway. Gateway. Mirror builds thus far alongside, although I kind of like this positioning better. Just aesthetically pleasing, don't you agree? Just aesthetically pleasing. We are seeing a probe scout going counterclockwise, which means Dreamer is going to get scouted last. He is still not sending out a probe scout. Sending out a probe scout now. Let's see if he goes clockwise or counterclockwise to check out Kring. Assimilator down about halfway finished for both players, so about mirror builds. And I think we will see if we see the Zealot produced initially from either player. On four-player maps, I think you can sneak the Dragoon a little bit more easily. The gateway remains silent, and the Cybernetics Core has been placed. Unfortunately, yeah, Dreamer's going to get a huge advantage by getting the scout, because this is going to be a long time before this probe makes its way across, and there is going to be initial Zealot built for Dreamer. It is possible he... We'll see the timing. The Zealot might be able to blockade the ramp, which would put Crane in the dark. His Cybernetics Core about a portion finished. He's going halfway across. I'm almost curious if, on occasion, when you know you're not going to be able to block the probe scout, if there is ever like a zealot cancellation or something like that. Anyway, initial zealot has been produced. It's going to start chasing that probe down. This zealot is going to be in position. Wow. Yeah. Crane at a huge disadvantage to start. This is going to put Ash Dreamer in the driver's seat. He can opt to do whatever he likes. Comparatively, he's going to have a big scout. He's going to see all three probes on gas. Suggest more of that standard tech. That Dragoon's just about halfway finished. And he's going to see that cybernetic score spinning. Comparatively. And it's not like game winning. But it does give you significant amount of information over your opponent. And information can be sometimes what wins you this match. And that probe actually going to be able to sneak out as well. With that Zealot in tow. Probe backing off. Doing a little bit of attack. So basically what... Crane's going to need to do is he's maybe going to need to move forward with his attack force. Maybe he'll do a little bit of overextension to kind of get eyes on what his opponent's up to. Additional pylon plop down in that corner. Neither player canceling that range. Second gateway now for Dreamer. And I kind of like that decision. He's like, okay, maybe my opponent's going to come need to sneak in. Kind of getting eyes just to make sure that a, nat a quick match wasn't taken as a result. But maybe my opponent's going to need to sneak in with some units. This is kind of me. This may not be what's happening, but I'm going to read into it anyway. My opponent needs to come scout me, right? So if he comes and scouts with the units, let me have a superior number of units. And be able to get a quick unit advantage. Maybe something along those lines. Crane instead, it's actually holding put. He's going to go ahead and get a robotic facility. Now placing that second gateway a little bit later. Robo is down. For Dreamer as well. A little bit different timing for it overall. And as I say that, he's actually pressed forward to maybe intercept units as they're coming to that forward position. So he's getting so with that little bit earlier gateway, he would have superior units in a minute or so. <clears throat> but only one, and plus kind of the distance, you can think about that. Y you can do the math here. Because of the distance here, because of the reinforcement point, because it's right here as a closer reinforcement point, you might have superior numbers. Just in case Crane was pressing forward, but it looks like Crane is instead opting to go ahead and sit back. He's getting a shuttle. Wow. So rather than going for an observatory, 
killing a probe actually was thinking cross redeemer to get additional scout um might be able to glean at least a little bit of information on that front and dreamer actually upon seeing that just seeing kind of the units on the front sitting up and waiting he's pressing forward and i don't like this build to be honest from crane getting that shuttle before the, the robotics facility if this was three gate he would have been in a lot of trouble we do see an observatory comparatively the zealot pressing forward and dreamer getting aggressive he wants to get a look at this natural expansion and see what's going on the probe sneaking through might be able to get a counter scout also some spotting from the high ground maybe do some maybe ooh, dream taking a little bit of free damage from that high ground misfire loses a, a dragoon but he gets a good look and sees that natural expansion's not up so he knows he wasn't up against one gate and this is oh i was about to say good play moving that dragoon forward to go ahead and deny that scout but unfortunately he has not done that he does have the blockade with his dragoon but oh and he hid the probe nice so giving the impression that he's going for something more aggressive and instead plopping down his nexus does have that observatory don't see an observer making its way across just yet reaver comparatively for crane let's see if he decides to just use that reaver defensively to go ahead and get his nexus if he opts to do that he's going to end up falling a little bit behind in this match if he decides to get aggressive with it he might have a lot of success actually because i don't think dreamer can punch through with the just pure amount of units he has let's see if he just, yeah it looks like he's just going to go ahead and take map control pressing forward here some units lagging with this observer and that shuttle with that reaver getting on the low ground and oh, they're gonna get a shot on at least one of those dragoons peeling it off fairly quickly crane staggering some of these units he has better concentration this is four dragoons Ooh, taking a huge scarab shot so crane now with a good amount of map control gonna go ahead and take his expansion so feeling safe in doing that but that is going to put him so even though he I, he got some uh, additional kills but he's going to be behind economically for two reasons one this nexus was plopped down a lot earlier by dreamer and two as far as macro goes dreamer has stuck on top of that a little bit more aggressively and so he has seven more probes which is a lot for this stage of the game oh shuttle gets picked off nice pickoff by dreamer using that observer to his advantage Ooh, taking a huge reaver hit and losing three dragoons now with these two reavers actually slow crawling to this natural this natural is exposed and honestly i would think it would take three gates to defend this crane might be able to end the game right here with some well-placed reaver shots but he needs to wait for the reavers to get here working on this pylon shield batter being dropped by dreamer that's wise but unfortunately he's going to be unpowered in a moment and that actually might provide oh negative some city oh yeah that's gg a bit unfortunate well played by crane seeing the advantage taking the opportunity just diving in with those reavers game one a quick game one going to crane we will the been going to, on to game two no I'll, I'll wait i'll wait so game one going to crane which honestly felt a little bit sloppy both directions i think both players playing a little bit nervous but nice advantage take by crane hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening